Hey guys, I thought I might just take a few minutes to share some reflections on Pastor Matt's message from Sunday and maybe offer some insights into how we might apply that into this situation that we find ourselves in at the moment. Love one another is the topic that we're exploring together. And Matt offered us the tagline that there's another way to live, a better way to live. And he took his inspiration from Colossians chapter 2. And although he unpacked a whole lot of Colossians chapter 2 right through to chapter 3, I got stuck at the very beginning of verse 2. And Paul's writing to the body of Christ. And he says that he wants the church, the people, to knit themselves together with strong ties of love. And then he immediately gives us the reason why. He says that they may have complete confidence that they understand God's mysterious plan, which is Christ himself. Now there's a simple but profound truth in that passage. When we recognize that each and every person, both inside the church and out, has been lovingly and meticulously created in the image of God, then we can begin to knit ourselves together in love. And why do we want to knit ourselves together in love? That we may all have complete confidence that Christ is and always was God's plan. And for any of you that have experienced Jesus, you'll know that it's something that deserves to be shared. There was another very important key that Matt alluded to on Sunday, and he made sure that if you were taking notes, that you took it down. And he said, because of who Jesus is, you are a powerful person. I mean, this is a crushingly simple principle that we seem to glaze over so easily, so much of the time. Jesus is offering you approval before God without you having to achieve it or earn it or even deserve it. Because of who Jesus is, you have a purpose. A purpose to love God with all that you are, heart, soul, mind, strength, and to love one another. To love your neighbor as yourself. And it's as simple and as difficult as that. So how do we do that? How do we knit ourselves together in love? Especially in a time of such physical distance, physical separation, a time of worry and stress and mental health and, and all these things that, that Matt spoke about on Sunday. Well, I see it a little like this. What if? What if? In this time where the world seeks to divide us, to separate us, to make us feel alone and cut off, what if we decided to use this time to do the exact opposite? What if we committed to use this time to get stronger? What if we committed this time to becoming more committed to one another? What if we committed to invest more time into the things that truly matter? What if we committed to knitting ourselves together with strong ties of love? So when this circumstance passes, and it will pass, we come out the other side, not only unbroken, but unbreakable. How do we do that? 
We do that by encouraging each other. We stop living in our own proud perception, as Matt called it on Sunday. And we embrace our own humility. We need to build our neighbour up instead of tearing them down with needless comparison and petty jealousy. We give more than what we feel comfortable with for those who have less than what they need. And we start to look at our neighbour and see that person was created in the image of God. And that means, as Matt said on Sunday, that no one is disqualified. And when we start to understand that, when we start to look at each other and see each other as created in the image of God, we start to think, hey, let's knit them in. And maybe they'll start to understand the meaning of who Jesus is. So be encouraged. Be encouraged this week knowing that you have purpose in Jesus. And it's time to cement our calling as a church, as a people. Knit ourselves together in strong ties of love. And bring others to have complete confidence in the reality of who Jesus is.